Yo, what's up guys, it's Kobe here with some more Call of Duty Ghost news and info. And today's video is actually going to be pretty cool, where I'm going to first show you and then discuss some of the confirmed weapons for Call of Duty Ghosts. And some of you guys didn't know already, Call of Duty Ghosts was completely revealed with gameplay and everything in a trailer that was aired during the Xbox reveal event. I uploaded like 5 videos already about it, you can go check them out if you didn't see them already. I'm definitely more excited about the consoles than just being excited for Call of Duty, but still, the trailer definitely added to my excitement and I was able to get a few things out of it and i like to share them with you. Alright, so even before the trailer was released, some leaked info or just speculation hinted that COD Ghost will be set in the future. However, they are going to be using present day weapons, and we found quite a bit of proof of that in the footage shown yesterday. So I'm just going to go through all the ones I found, some that I could identify, some that I couldn't, and some that were posted on Charlie Intel. So they're definitely credible, I'm pretty confident in the things that they post on Charlie Intel as well. So I'm going to start off with the weapons I'm familiar with, the weapons that we have seen in past Call of Duties and that are going to be returning, at least in the campaign. So the first one is the AK-47. Really happy this is coming back, it's just a stable in Call of Duty. It's been a good assault rifle to use since COD 4. The skins of the AK-47 have changed a little bit with each COD. The MW3 version was a little more modern, didn't have that wooden shell, but regardless, I'm happy it's coming back. So next we have the SCAR. The SCARs have been appearing in Call of Duties fairly consistently since MW2, and this version appears to me to be very similar to the one from MW2, more than the one in MW3, at least in my opinion. Next we have the TAR, not exactly what model or anything, not really an expert, but to me, that clearly looks like a TAR. The TAR was one of my favorites in MW2, as well as in Black Ops 2, so I definitely have no problem with it coming back to Call of Duty Ghosts. And lastly for the assault rifles, we have the M4A1. This one looks identical to the one in MW3. However, it could be possible that this is just a placeholder they are currently using in development, but I'm sure you guys all caught this one while watching the footage from yesterday, and again, it looks exactly the same from MW3. So for some SMGs, we first have the UMP. I'm sure you all saw this one as well. I saw some comments on yesterday's videos, and I'm definitely excited and happy they are bringing the UMP back. I just hope it's more like the MW3 ump and not the MW2, because MW2, it was a little too good in my opinion. The MW3 version was a little more balanced, but either way, I'm glad it's in the game. So next I have a few weapons that I didn't know exactly what they were, but Charlie Intel posted up what they think they are. And again, Charlie Intel is a pretty trustworthy site, so you can definitely take them as a credible source. But the first one is the Chris Vector. We saw just the handle of it in the footage from yesterday. But to me, after seeing what the weapon looks like, they pretty much look the same. That's a fairly identifiable weapon stock. So it's definitely safe to say that some sort of vector will be in Ghosts. And I'm neutral about it. It's not my favorite SMG, but I definitely don't mind if there's some sort of variant of the vector in the game. The next one they found was the 300 AAC Blackout Honey Badger, and I really hope that's not the name of the gun in the game because that is just way too long. I don't like having to say whole paragraphs when I'm just trying to tell someone what gun I'm using. But besides that, the weapon looks pretty cool. FPS Russia actually did a video using this weapon, so you guys can go check that out if you want. But the weapon was actually developed to replace the MP5 and the M27 in close quarter combat, so that could mean we'll be without the MP5 and the MP7 in the game. But maybe not, this is just a video game, so they can really put in anything they want. Next is the APS Underwater Assault Rifle. I don't really know anything about this weapon, but having it in the game definitely means there's going to be at least one underwater mission where you're actually going to be shooting and getting into gunfights underwater. So that'll be definitely interesting for sure. So next, I didn't know what this weapon was, Charlie Intel thinks it is a foul, and it definitely looks similar to one, but it is worth noting that the weapon was shooting fairly fast in the footage that they showed yesterday, but they could easily make it a single shot if it were to be in multiplayer. And lastly, we have the CZ805 Bren. That's what Charlie Intel has determined this to be. This weapon was developed by the Czech Republic, and it's a modern day weapon, so that definitely keeps up with the whole time period of the weapons being used in the game's storyline. So that's it. That's all the weapons I found in the footage from yesterday. This video did take a ton of work, so if you guys did enjoy it, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like rating. If we get to 300 likes, that would be great. Also, let me know if you saw something from the footage that I missed, and maybe a weapon or just something you noticed. You can leave that in the comments and I'll definitely be reading through all of them. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. E3 coming up very soon. About to get even more awesome information and footage for all kinds of games and consoles. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you do and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.